The scriptural text for this Sermon on the Mount, part 8, is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 23. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. Our Lord Jesus Christ challenges us to have a healthy, focused eye on God. For purity of intention not only applies to our spiritual actions, but to our everyday choices as well. In all we do, our eye is to focus on pleasing God and serving others with right motives. If our eye is healthy, that is, focused on God, our life is full of light. This light represents a better understanding of the knowledge of God. This light is knowing the important role of holiness and love in our lives and the world. This light is the experience of true joy in our soul. If our eye is unhealthy, that is, not focused on God, we are full of darkness. A veil will cover our heart and we will dwell in ignorance, doubt, and ungodliness. If not focused on God, we will be without peace and contentment in this life. Next, Jesus confronts our understanding of worldly wealth when he says, store up your treasure in heaven. For in reality, many store up worldly treasure on this earth. They are blind to the spiritual harm that this can cause. Your earthly treasure should be used to pay off necessary debts and provide necessities for you and your family. But excessive accumulation of wealth on earth is simply disobeying Jesus' command. The result is you will lose your treasure in heaven and become a dead Christian. Jesus understood how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. For desiring riches will end in ruin and destruction. So who will warn them? We Christians must proclaim the dangers to all. For some may awaken from this curse. Here are four principles to store up treasure in heaven. Number one, humble yourselves so you will not be tempted to store up worldly wealth. Number two, do not trust in riches. Your riches will not save you in the end. For you will die and return to dust, and your wealth will not follow you. And be aware that you cannot buy true and lasting happiness. But rather, set your hope on God, for he is a very present help in trouble. Number three, do not seek to increase possessions. Do not use your wealth on lavish lifestyles. Use wealth to help others. For the greedy will have to give an account to the Lord of their waste. And number four, store up your treasure in heaven by giving to the poor. Be wise stewards of what God has given you. Generously share your wealth and be rich in good works. And Jesus will say to you, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was naked and you gave me clothing. Come, enter into my kingdom.